Okay, so I can do this again. I uh, see I'm in my oh now it's moving back and forth. All right, well, as you can see, this is this claims I'm not in my apartment. And um there is a stalker on the bench, so I'm going to load my camera. I'm going to zoom in here. Oop. Having a little trouble zooming in. I've got a picture of him, so it's not a big deal. But you see, it says I'm over where this guy's location is. Now, he is in his uh, mid-30s. He's Caucasian. He's wearing uh, white pants, black t-shirt. Uh, hangs out with the neighbors on our floor. He's a friend of theirs. He's usually out front. And you see, he is where my phone says I am, my location. And I'll show you that I'm actually in the apartment. See, there's my TV, there's the cupboard. So I'm not, I'm not out there, but my location says that I am, and there's this criminal right there. Now he obviously knows I'm watching and filming him. He can see what's on he can see what's going on on my phone. I'll pull up the location again. See? As you can see, there's the town, you know, see that? Uh there's the townhouses in the background. You know, and then there's the apartment building and he's right there on the bench. And I'm going to load Wiggle War Diving. And you can see that there are all these different... See, he's connected with many, many, many different people who are also invading my privacy. So this is very good to know. And of course, they're connected with the fire department. They're connected with housing. They're connected with the police. It's a huge violation of human rights. So I think that is, I think that's it.